Hey nerds, welcome to Jerry Berry X. Today we're going to react to season five, episode two of Lucifer, entitled Lucifer, Lucifer, Lucifer. More like Lucifer, Lucifer. That's more of what I'm getting from it. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe for daily content. If there's a day, there's a reaction. There's links in the description box down below for the Patreon, Twitch stream, and everything in between. 15 episodes left in this season, counting this one. And uh, yeah, hey, the last episode, Lucifer was dealing kind of with his own problems along with Lee next to him. And then Chloe dealing with not having Lucifer around her, getting to see where all the characters are at and what they're dealing with. Ella... Still trying to figure herself out. We had no Eve in the last episode. Maze was trying to make a move on Chloe. Uh, Aminadil trying to bust druggies. Dan trying to be super positive. The baby could be a genius. Dr. Linda Martin being a mama. Trixie making the baby laugh. We got a whole bunch of people. And the ending ended with Lucifer's doppelganger. I haven't got a chance to even think about who it could possibly be. I'm trying to think of Angel's. The one thing Amenadiel said an episode ago, or not an episode ago, um, episode eight, nine, one of them, they were thinking of baby names. He said no to Michael, never Michael. Michael is the archangel. I don't know if that's an ability to like be a doppelganger or not. Other than that, the Lilla thing is going to keep coming up because they keep saying of the Lilum. That's another running thing. I don't have any other guesses. So I have to wait and see what happens. So with that out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and put Jerry behind the scenes. What is happening? Am I watching The 100 again all of a sudden? What the fuck's going on? The 100. It's a prequel to Avatar. I'm going to go ahead and tell you something right now. If you even so much as put your fucking finger around this area of me, I'm waking up. My body's just like, what's going on? My self-defense mode's kicking in. If you to be sound asleep and have somebody jostling a lock above you, Picking it with a knife? And you gonna stay asleep? No. Among Us? Am I watching Lucifer? Okay. Oh, he didn't tell me when he left. Why would he tell me when he's back? That's right. Thought I you were friends. And, and, him. Mm. and you have reason. Mm -hmm. But he also had a really good reason for leaving so suddenly. And while he's been gone, he's sort of been through hell. Since so you've been gone. A little bit of slack. No, you ain't. Morning, star. Oh, my goodness. Lucifer Cheeks. Morning, the devil biscuits. Oh, they're back. Oh, that, that, that mirror. Whoa, buddy. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, guy has a spaceship, too. He rich and so he got money, baby. I'm so glad. I was wondering. I was, I was hoping we wouldn't stray too far off the beaten path here. I was very fucking. I was a concerned citizen. I was looking everywhere. Doppel devil. It's a doppel devil. I can't believe you left and didn't even say goodbye. Oh, you just ran off to Florida and forgot about us. Florida. I... Beat him again with a shoe. Oh, yes. Yes. I. I was in Florida. My mother was terribly ill. I thought you said you got to take over the family business. Indeed. My mother was ill, which is why I had to take over the business. But Florida is wretched. Far too many creepy crawlies and no Miss Lopez. I can't stay mad at you. Aww. He's hugging her back. And Chloe's over here piecing shit together. Aww. But hey, no mas of that mierda, okay? No mas. I'd be pretty upset you beat me with a shoe, but we'd be friends. I love your bracelet. Did you make that? Uh, no. No, it's amethyst. Cleansing my chakra. Cleansing his chakra! Hell yeah! Thanks, man. You know what? You know, I, I've picked this up multiple times, but I gotta say it again. Dan just wants somebody to fucking listen to him. Like, to take interest in him as a person. I think that's where a lot of his angst around... Like, uh, if you ever notice when he talks about stuff, people normally shut it down. But when they actually listen to him, he actually gets genuinely excited. He's like, hey, man, thanks for listening. He always is trying to thank Lucifer. Like, deep down, he wants to be Lucifer's friend. Deep down, somewhere in here. See? Lucifer 2.0. Come on, Chloe, piece it together. And <laughs> Ha!
That one got a little funky. We used to play with him. I loved him right before he left. And he didn't exactly say it back. Hey, man. Same thing with Maze real quick. Same thing with Maze and Dr. Linda Martin. They got that post-baby glow. I don't know what it is. I don't remember the science behind it, but something about when women are pregnant and after they have a baby, they have a glow about them. And she was pregnant in real life, as was Maze. Even though Maze wasn't pregnant for the show, but like, there's a certain like, you can you can feel it. Am I crazy? Found out that Lucifer has reconsidered his position on honesty. Who would have thunk it? Oh, interesting. Well, I'm sure whatever Lucifer is going through. That should be your first like red flag. Like, he never lies. And all of a sudden, he's saying it's been a thousand years. I think I'm going to start lying. Mm, nothing to Not on the sat phone sometimes. Other than that, nice lady. You're lying. No, I'm not. I'm sorry. Did you want to do that? No. There must be something you're not telling us. I love, I, I really love when they get into, like, their little small little role reversal. Because she takes it so seriously. That makes me very fucking happy. The deal of the day. Judy was a bit of a part. Sharon! It's literally fucking Sharon Osbourne. I was, I saw her, it didn't even register. Like, it registered twice. It registered seeing her face and then registered seeing her fucking name tag. We had about five books the entire time we were in there. Sharon! And she managed to spoil the endings to all of them. Yeah? What'd you do? Bite the head off a bat? Stab her in her sorry space ass? Ah, uh, Sharon! Actually, that was my husband that bit the head off a bat. <laughs> she oh, did come it! On. No, it, it literally was. It was Ozzy. It's documented. It's whatever. It's on film. Uh, I remember watching the Ozzy Osbourne show as a kid, like in middle school, whatever it was, and this motherfucker legitimately sat on the couch, Sharon! Sharon! And she came down the steps. All he wanted her to do was change the batteries out of the remote. That's some parents yelling at their kid shit. No. What's your game? Nothing. Just thought you looked a bit peckish. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Come on, Dan. Spitting it? No, we didn't do anything. No. Got something, kids. That hair did I found Dan move his desk back to he did move yeah I saw it in the last episode I didn't realize he moved his desk back good for you Daniel it's difficult to be isolated with strangers for so long away from your family friends everyone you love yeah I participated in the red one Mars project I can tell you firsthand the experience really uh, changes a person but once you were back for a while did you start to feel more like yourself this doesn't apply to it's Lucifer I bet it was one of those two people. Detective. Like the two people we just met, like not anybody that was in the crew. They said it was somebody in there, but I'm not. For some reason, I'm not buying it. Oh, Hurricane Ron, I got you on the floor. Who the fuck are you? you go? Oh. After everything we've been through, Lucifer, how could you go home without me? No, Lucifer, I'm not Lucifer. I'm not Lucifer. An American accent. What the fuck? Lucifer told me he had a twin brother. Huh? And you are a masochine. Nice to meet you. I'm Michael. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Michael, Get no? the actual I fuck out of here. For staying there, Michael, just so I won't kick your ass. Give me some big ass wings, brother bear. Bro, it's actually the Archangel Michael. That's fucking, that was a shot in the goddamn, that's bananas. Pull them bitches back in. Fine. And then pretty soon all I hear is Lucifer, Lucifer, Lucifer. Roll credits. Look at a minute, though, bro, right, looking brother. spiffy. Lucy, you're here. 
the Aminadil's like timing and the way he says things is so fucking perfect each and every time. It makes me like him flying into a bridge. Like Lucy, that only happened once. Just the way he speaks. Wait. You're not loose for. Oh. Yes. I just hope somebody would just be like, "That's not you." It's just this is just gonna fucking end. This season's gonna end with literally just a swap. Lucifer will be back on Earth. Michael, who's a celestial angel, will be in hell as the twin brother of Lucifer, watching over hell as the new Satan devil man. If that's the ending and I got to sit through fucking uh, 15 more episodes to get to it, these better be some banging ass episodes. <laughs> Donovan Glover's most recent address. Donovan Glover. Uh, that's mildish home, Gambino. <laughs> this man turned, flipped, picked her up, flew with some wings. You can't have your wings out in front of humans, bro, unless you guy's motherfucking eyes closed. Michael. Right. Right. Well, uh, suppose I'll go home and get some dinner then. All on my lonesome. Wow. I'll see you later, detective. Dumber in a bag of bricks. Y'all got to pick up on it. I have a mustache hair curling up, going into my nose and tickling my nose hairs. No, it wasn't. Ask me. That's a freaking enigma. I agree. Not a charismatic enigma, though, because that's... Can you see the writing on the wall? Over your hand. Lucifer. Jeff Hardy. Burgers and fries and Michael and Mays, aka Michael. Y'all in there getting dirty, dirty, freaking. Chloe done saw that. Dropped the burgers and fries. Oh my god. I think eventually uh, Mays may end up feeling bad for all of this and end up telling the truth. I figured if anybody be able to see it so far, it would have been Chloe or one of those other people. Like uh, they'll eventually pick up on it. Maybe if Eve comes back, that'd be a nice touch. This is first of all, Chloe, literally heaven sent because if I'm talking to somebody, you know, and they get with somebody else, that happens. If you're like in that talking stage though, and like you see some other shit, it's kind of like ah, we're not talking no more. You know, you got other priorities. If somebody's, if I told somebody I love them and they're like, hey, give me some time, blah blah blah, yada yada. In a pseudo relationship, kind of not really always kind of doing your thing, both kind of like waiting for each other. And you see some shit like that. Eh, that's a wrap. It's a wrap. Even in a talk, even in a flirting stage, bro. If I see you with the flirt with it, I just because mm, I don't uh, just not me, you know, no thanks. When's the last time you put Charlie down? It's not that long. 15, 16 hours. Maybe you haven't changed his diaper. Okay, I'm going to do Give me the baby. Give me my son. Okay, listen. I don't want to worry you, all right? But he picked up on Lucifer, didn't he? On Michael. Lucifer's back. Okay, I mean, we shouldn't let our fears get the best of us. Okay, you make it. Fifteen, sixteen hours. You need to change that baby's diaper, bro. Everybody, like, damn, that bald dude smells like shit. <laughs> oh God. Decker. You ready, to smash? You're gonna. Him? I mean, hopefully it's like a little more romantic than that. But yeah, um, I think we've waited long enough. No, you're gonna fuck Michael and I, Lucifer. Mate, stop it from happening. Come on, Chloe Decker. You know, I, Next time you decide to suck a fucking spoon off, do that shit off camera. Jerry's watching. He ain't nothing but just a little baby. Poor little green guy. I think Chloe's... You are different. I think Chloe's... Uh, fuck. I feel one of two ways. Either, like, she's trying to go through with this, like, trying to set them up. I think maybe she's ahead of the game right now. Like, she's trying to set Maze up, try to help her say that it's not him. Or... She is pushing Michael to make a decision here. You know? Or trying to uh, trying to figure him out along the way. Like, what's your favorite? You want the cheese poofs? Or do you want the the pretzels? And like, ooh, you do know me very well. I'll take the cheese poofs. And they're like, ah, 
you actually like to get the hubba bubba bubble gum. I got you, bitch. Who are you? The Red to Mars Project. Look, nada. Those must be built into the suit. Anything changed would be considered an improvement. It's from the first one, the first mission. Are they the bald dude or old girl? The whole Mars project is fake. Y'all need to have communication. Communication is key in relationships. Ain't nobody got no fucking trust nowadays. What? Why didn't you say anything? Because I was trying to keep you safe. And why didn't you say something like, are you cheating on me? Hello? Talk to people. Fuck! You know, when you went away on that first project, I waited for you. You were gone for so long. And when you came back, you were so different. I thought you didn't love me anymore. It doesn't matter where I am. Here. The moon. Mars. It does not matter. There is nothing that will change the way that I feel about you. Even if I'm in prison? Nothing. Go ahead and get your hug over with, and you coming with me, brother bear. It seems that uh, she likes this new Lucifer even better than the old. You told her that accent drives me bonkers. Who you really are? No, no, but I will in time. See, I've decided I am not going to break Lucifer's life. I'm just going to live it. I'm going to take it. Yeah. So, if you'll excuse me. Yeah. Maze, fight out. Come on, Maze. I... I love you, Lucifer. Uh, I was hoping she would ruse him. Ruse him into just being like, of course I remember everything. And she was like, when you told me that you really love pineapples, and he was like, well, of course, what a better time to say it. Like, you gotta. Come on! I meant it too. He ain't say it. Nah, Chloe's smarter than the average bear. Come on, Chloe. Oh. Things are never gonna be the same. I believe you're right. Damn! Who the fuck is you? Once I shot Lucifer to prove you was the devil, and now I'm shooting you to prove you're not. That's what I'm talking about, Chloe. Baby, home, baby, home, baby. I knew something was off the first time I kissed you. Mm, that's what I'm talking about, Chloe. But you always had such good explanations, such good lies. Oh, really? No more lies, huh? Well, how about a truth then? Woo, here it comes. You? Are a gift from God, Chloe Decker. You're a miracle, baby. What does that mean? It means that you were never supposed to exist. Father made you for Lucifer. You were put here on Earth only for him. Oh, you're twisting those words. Plaything. Oh, you're twisting those things. Now, isn't that special? He, I don't believe you. he said you were made for Lucifer just like Eve was made for Adam. It's time for you to go. Get out. Yeah, guess who woke up? Is that not maze that y'all get out? Am I tripping? Are we watching a Dr. Disrespect stream? <laughs> You're terrified that Lucifer is better than you. That he'll always be better than you. Please. Our brother? The devil? The, 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 the guy that was cast out of heaven for all eternity? Exactly, Michael. Because despite even that, you know, deep down. Talk to him. He'll always end up winning. Always end up catching the dub. We'll see. Oh, Dr. Linda Martin, did you have a baby? Did you have a baby at some point?
because you ain't that young. Did you have a baby at some point? That that that's no longer with us. What's happened? Will you cross over? Hey man, I really like when you cross over to the dark side. I really enjoy that right there. That the first, I mean, the first part of the episode is a little. It was dragging a bit, but it picked itself up. Uh, I really don't give two flying shits about the the case on that one. But I am glad that both Chloe and Amenadiel were able to figure out that that wasn't actually Lucifer and instead it was Michael. Now, I was kind of hoping, since it is 16 episodes, that it would that would have went on a little bit longer. People not knowing gave a chance to have Tom Ellis still in the show while Lucifer is, you know, in hell. Why did the fuck did my pizza just go from being baked back to prep? We, we skipped over some steps here. Why we go backwards? We're supposed to be going forwards. So I, I do think, though, that it should have lasted maybe another another episode, but it's good because it, it'll get time to, to speed up here a little bit. So Chloe picks up on it, and Minadio picks up on it. Something's going on with Dr. Linda Martin where she thinks that, I mean, even Dan was picking up on it, to be honest, and Ella. But Dr. Linda Martin also, um, I do like, I don't like it, but I do like her going into that box and getting out something from her past so we can get some more on her backstory, perhaps, about, you know, your fears to be a bad mother. Maybe she was a bad mother in the past. Maybe something happened. Maybe the baby died or, or something tragic happened that we don't know about yet. Still no Eve. I don't know if she'll come back or not. I'll keep an eye out for her. We do miss her. Even Maze was like, hey, bro, I can't do this. Sorry. This ain't, this ain't the life for me. Hmm. Michael's been revealed. And Amenadiel said, Lucy will always be better than you. He always catches the dubs. And you're worried everybody's going to learn that he's the better of you two. Damn. And Amenadiel went and got his brother. Okay. I, I don't have much to say at the end of the episode. I thought I was going to have a lot more, but I don't. After spending an eternity in hell, Lucifer returns to the land of the living, but there's something a little different about this handsome devil. <laughs> so yeah, that's uh that's episode two of season five. I I I think Michael will end up somehow being the king of hell or whatever the fuck they're gonna do with it. That makes the most sense to me in my own brain. But we'll see how the season goes, man. We got we got 14 more episodes. A lot can happen. I got nothing else. We're going to see how it progresses. Season 5, Episode 2, Lucifer, Lucifer, Lucifer. Season 5, Episode 3 is entitled Diablo. Love it. Links and everything will be in the description box down below. Playlist will be up on screen. As always, stay cute, stay hydrated, and I'll catch you on the next one.